Mexico City on a short layover before we head to Oaxaca, and believe it or not, we're pretty hungry. So today we're gonna check out my favorite place for quesadillas in the city. We're gonna hit up Greg's favorite street tacos, and we're gonna finish up with some delicious churros. I can't wait. Hope you guys are hungry. Let's get to eating. <laughs> got my masterpiece of a quesadilla here. I ordered it with cheese and flor de calabaza, which I think is a squash flower. It's like the blossom from a squash. I don't know that I've had this or even heard of this before coming to Mexico. It's got fresh cheese and also nopales, which I don't know if that's typically on a quesadilla, but I'm here for it. All smushed on a handmade blue corn tortilla. It's beautiful, almost too beautiful to eat, but not quite. I think you can find Florida Calabaza in other parts of Mexico, but to me, I feel like this, it seems like a Mexico City yeah. thing to me, or it seems like this is what we have whenever we're here in the city, and we see it definitely much more, uh, like it's much more widely available here yeah. than it is in places like beach towns like Vallarta, yeah. uh, for example. Homemade tortilla, I mean. Can't be beat. It doesn't Can't get any eat. better than this. I got round two. <laughs> Already? Yeah. Wow. Wow. It feels strange to be eating flowers, like cooked flowers. I feel like these are actually kind of pretty when they're uncooked. Like I've seen them in markets, but I love flowers, alive or cooked apparently. <laughs> Sixty-six pesos, or just over three U.S. dollars, for three delicious quesadillas. Now we're on to stop number two. Pretty good, right? Is that, is that all you got? It used to be una hora, but now I think they're down to 30 minutes. Lentes! Tatuajes! Pretty good. That's all I got, because people are going to start coming to me for those things. <laughs> How spicy is the salsa? I don't remember. It's got a little afterburner on it. It's like 7 out of 10 spice. Three Campechano tacos con todo, amigos. We've got chorizo and suadero in there, which I believe is like flank steak or like roast. It's kind of what it looks like and what it tastes like. Yeah. To me, what sets these tacos apart, what makes them so good is the chorizo. It's crispy on the outside, yet chorizo is like a really fatty, juicy, flavorful piece of meat combined with the suadero. suadero which is a little bit more lean, but it's like tender, slow cooked meat. It's just a perfect combination. All between two tortillas, of course, with some salsa, cebolla, cilantro, lime. It's just something about these tacos. Also part of the appeal, part of the mystique to me is like just eating on the streets of Mexico City. There's no stools. It's not really a bar you can eat at, there's no tables, there's no inside anywhere. You're just eating on the streets of the craziest city in the entire world. It's just hectic, chaotic, and delicious. I'm trying to decide if I should get more or not. I definitely want more. I don't know if it's in my best interest to get more. Will you have room for churros? It's not like, it's not really a matter of can I eat that much food, it's just how how sick am I willing to feel later? And like the older I get, the 
less sick I'm willing to feel. You know, you just get you just get more intelligent, you get smarter, you get wiser. You've, you've done it, you've been there, you've done it. I don't know. So you're only gonna get like one or two more? I might get one or two more. One more can't hurt, right? Figured out the secret. The secret is that all of the meat is like cooking in one uh, cauldron, one tub, and like the fat from the meat, it's cooking in its own grease, its own fat, and then he dips the tortillas inside that fat and I think that's I mean I don't think that's necessarily uncommon but I think that's part of what makes these especially good next stop and my personal favorite and probably yours too chorros calientitos and then it's dunked in sugar. This one is white sugar, but they also have churros with uh, cinnamon sugar. Some are filled, these are not filled. And then we also got a hot chocolate, which doesn't really taste like a hot chocolate. It tastes like a melted Hershey's chocolate bar. It's somehow better. That's what we got. You guys think we can finish it? I feel like to say that hot chocolate is like a melted Hershey's bar should be illegal. That should be a crime because Hershey's bars aren't really that good. It's that's low quality chocolate. This tastes like this tastes like the chocolate we've had in Oaxaca. Just like pure. It's it's a little sweet, but not not too sweet, but also not too bitter. It, and it's like when you dunk that churro in there, and it's got some of the cinnamon sugar and the fried friedness of the outside of the churro, the gooiness of the inside, somehow better than tacos. Is that, can I say that? And that my friends is how you do a layover here in Mexico City with quesadillas, tacos, y churros, AKA the fastest possible way to give yourself a stomach ache. The next time you see us, we will be in one of Mexico's most beloved states, Oaxaca. Thanks for watching today's video. You guys know what pairs well with churros calientitos? 100% Mexican coffee. Now we know some of you can't be in Mexico, but you can always have a taste of Mexico in your home with our very own Condolo Coffee shop. The full lineup today at condolocoffee.com. Best enjoyed with churros calientitos and tacos and quesadillas and whatever else you want.